welcome back to my channel I'm sorry being absent for so long or for too long perhaps uh, but I come back and today is the special vlog because I'm gonna speaking in English in this vlog um, yeah I don't make this video for show up no I make this for my documentary because I will take stimulation IELTS test on next 13 March so I want to you know I want to know that how far my speaking skill so yeah I made this video and then also if you guys um, can fix my pronunciation that will be helpful because I'm still bad and I need to improve my speaking skill and I would like to take your um, advice if you have advice you can write on the comment section below uh, okay uh, so today I will read passage a passage from Cambridge IELTS 10 edition um, I choose reading passage to the title is less television less violent and aggression hopefully I can speak confidently and not met and not messing up okay here I go less television less violence and aggression cutting back on television videos and video games reduces acts of aggression among school children according to a study by dr thomas robinson and others from the stanford university school of medicine the study published in the january 2001 issue of the Archive of Pediatric and Indolence Medicine found that the third and fourth grade students who took part in a curriculum to register their TV, video, and, feed and video game use engage in a fewer acts of verbal and physical aggression than their peers. The study took place in two similar St. Joe's, California, elementary schools student in one school underwent an 18 lesson six-month program designed to limit their media usage while the others did not both groups of students had similar reports of aggressive behavior at the beginning of the study after the six-month program However, the two groups had very real differences. The student who cut back on their TV time engaged in six fewer acts of verbal aggression per hour and rated 2.4% fewer of their classmates as aggressive after the program. Physical acts of violence, parental reports, of aggressive behavior and perceptions of mean and scary world also decrease but the authors suggest further study to solidify these results although many studies have shown that children who watch a lot of tv are more likely to act violently this report further verifies that television videos and video games actually cause the violent behavior and it is among the first to evaluate a solution to the problem teachers at the intervention school included the program in their existing curriculum early 
lessons encourage students to keep track of and report on the time they spend watching TV or videos or playing video games to motivate them to limit those activities on their own. The initial lesson, the inis, the initial lessons were followed by TV turn off an organization that encourages less TV viewing. For 10 days, students were challenged to go without television, videos, or video games. After that, teachers encouraged the students to stay within a media alone of 7 hours per week. Almost all students participated in the turn-off, and most stayed under their budget for the following weeks. Additional lessons encouraged children to use their time more selectively, and many of the final lessons had students themselves advocate reducing screen activities. The study is by no means the first to find a link between television and violence. Virtually all of 3,500 research studies on the subject in the past 40 years have shown the same relationship according to the American Academy of Pediatric. Among the most noteworthy studies is Dr. Leonard D. Aaron, which found that exposure to television violence in childhood is the strongest predictor of aggressive behavior later in life stronger even than violent behavior as children. The more violent television the subjects watch it at HA, the more serious was their aggressive behavior even 22 years later. Another study by Dr. Brandon S. Centerwall found that murder rates climbed after the introduction of television. In the United States and Canada, murder rates doubled in the United States, in Canada, murder rates doubled 10 to 15 years after the introduction of television, after the first TV generation grew up. Central Wall tested this pattern in South Africa, where television broadcasts were banned until 1975. Murder rates in South Africa remained relatively steady from the mid-1940s through the mid-1970s. By 1987, however, the murder rate had increased 130% from its 1974 level. The murder rates in the United States and Canada had leveled off in the meantime. Central wall study implies that the medium of television, not just the content, promotes violence and the current study by Dr. Robinson supports that conclusion. The turn-off did not specifically target the violence television, nor did the following alone period. Reducing television in general reduces aggressive behavior. Even television that is not violent is more violent than real life and might lead the viewers to believing that violence is funny and consequentially an viewable solution to problems. Also watching television of any content robs us of the time to interact with real people. Watching too much TV might inhabit the skills and patience we need to get along with others without resorting to aggression. TV as a medium promotes aggression and violence. The best solution is to turn it off. It's very challenging as you maybe see. <laughs> it's very hard for me as well and I was pretty nervous. <sighs> Hopefully my speaking skill will improve. Yeah, hopefully. And thank you for watching my documentary. And see you on next video. Bye bye!